Have you ever wondered what someone is really saying when their lips are sealed? Or perhaps you found yourself in a situation where you wished you could decipher the unspoken words hidden in gestures and postures? Well, you're not alone. And don't worry, we've got you covered. Today, we're going to explore how to read body language like a pro. Make sure you remain through to the very end because each step counts. Let's dive in. One, pay close attention to facial expressions. Our faces are incredibly expressive, acting as windows into our emotions. For instance, a genuine smile that reaches the eyes often signifies happiness or amusement, while narrowed eyes and furrowed brows may indicate anger or frustration. Even subtle movements such as lip biting or eye twitching can reveal underlying emotions. Additionally, consider micro expressions, brief flashes of emotion that can betray true feelings despite attempts to conceal them. These micro expressions, like a split second frown or a fleeting smirk, provide invaluable insights into what someone is truly experiencing. By keenly observing facial expressions and recognizing these subtle cues, you can gain a deeper understanding of others' emotions and intentions. Two, observe gestures and hand movements. Our hands are powerful communicators, often expressing what words cannot. For example, expansive gestures may convey enthusiasm or confidence, while clenched fists might indicate tension or aggression. Pay attention to the speed, direction, and intensity of hand movements. Quick, erratic movements could suggest nervousness, whereas slow, deliberate gestures may signal thoughtfulness or emphasis. Additionally, notice how individuals use their hands to illustrate points or emphasize key ideas during conversation. Three, decode body positioning. The way individuals position their bodies can offer significant clues about their thoughts and feelings. For instance, crossed arms often indicate defensiveness or discomfort, while open and relaxed postures suggest confidence and receptiveness. Pay attention to whether someone leans in or leans away during a conversation. Leaning in typically signifies interest and engagement, whereas leaning away may indicate disinterest or discomfort. Additionally, observe how individuals orient their bodies towards or away from others in a group setting. By analyzing body positioning, you acquire more profound understanding into people's attitudes, emotions, and levels of comfort in social interactions. Four, consider proximity and personal space. The distance individuals maintain between themselves and others can reveal important information about their relationships and comfort levels. For example, intimate partners or close friends may feel comfortable standing or sitting in close proximity to each other, while strangers or acquaintances typically maintain more distance. Pay attention to whether someone moves closer or farther away during a conversation. Stepping back could indicate discomfort or a desire for more personal space, while moving closer may suggest interest or report. Additionally, be mindful of cultural differences in preferred interpersonal distances, as these can vary significantly between different cultures and social contexts. By observing proximity and personal space, you can gain valuable insights into the dynamics of social interactions and the level of intimacy between individuals. Five, look for mirroring behavior. Mirroring is a subconscious phenomenon where individuals imitate each other's gestures, expressions, and even speech patterns. It often occurs when people feel a connection or report with each other. For instance, if you notice that someone is subtly copying your body language or adopting a similar tone of voice, it could indicate that they are engaged and empathetic. Similarly, if you find yourself unconsciously mirroring someone else's behavior, it may be a sign of mutual understanding and rapport. If you're finding these insights helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content like this. Six, pay attention to self-touch gestures. When individuals feel anxious, uncertain, or uncomfortable, they often engage in self-soothing behaviors such as touching their face, playing with their hair, or fidgeting with objects. These gestures can provide valuable clues about their emotional state and level of stress. For example, Rubbing the back of the neck may indicate tension or unease, 
while stroking the chin could suggest deep contemplation. Similarly, tapping fingers or bouncing legs might signify impatience or nervous energy. You can respond with empathy and compassion by keeping an eye out for these self-touch gestures, which can provide you insights into the underlying emotions and discomfort that people may be going through. Seven, analyze head movements and nods. The way individuals move their heads and nod during conversation can convey important information about their level of engagement and agreement. For instance, nodding in agreement or understanding typically indicates active listening and agreement with what is being said. On the other hand, shaking the head from side to side may signify disagreement, disapproval, or confusion. Additionally, pay attention to the frequency and intensity of head movements. Rapid or exaggerated nods may suggest enthusiasm or conviction, while slow or hesitant nods could indicate uncertainty or hesitation. Eight, interpret eye contact and gaze direction. Eye contact is a powerful form of nonverbal communication that can convey a range of emotions and intentions. For example, prolonged eye contact often signals interest, attentiveness, and sincerity, while avoiding eye contact may suggest discomfort, shyness, or deception. Additionally, pay attention to the direction of someone's gaze, as it can provide valuable insights into their thoughts and focus of attention. For instance, if someone looks towards an object or person, it may indicate interest or curiosity, whereas averting their gaze could signify avoidance or disinterest. Nine, watch for leg and foot movements. While often overlooked, the positioning and movements of a person's legs and feet can reveal a wealth of information about their thoughts and feelings. For example, tapping or bouncing legs may indicate impatience, nervousness, or excitement, while crossed legs may suggest defensiveness or discomfort. Additionally, pay attention to the direction of someone's feet. If their feet are pointed towards an exit or away from you, it may signal a desire to leave or disengage from the conversation. Conversely, if their feet are pointed towards you, it generally indicates interest and engagement. By observing leg and foot movements, you can gain valuable insights into a person's emotional state and level of comfort in a given situation. 10. Consider overall body language clusters. Rather than focusing solely on individual gestures or cues, it's essential to consider the overall pattern of body language displayed by an individual. By examining clusters of nonverbal signals, you can paint a more accurate picture of their thoughts, feelings, and intentions. For example, if someone is smiling, making eye contact, and leaning forward attentively during a conversation, it likely indicates interest, openness, and engagement. On the other hand, if they are avoiding eye contact, crossing their arms, and tapping their foot impatiently, it may suggest discomfort, defensiveness, or boredom. By analyzing body language clusters, you can better understand the nuances of human communication and respond effectively in various social situations. And there you have it, 10 powerful ways to read body language like a pro. Have you found these tips on reading body language helpful? Feel free to leave your thoughts and comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like this. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Your support means the world to us.